Good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. About to get in a gym session this morning uh, because tonight is my late night and uh, I have two late nights this week. Typically on my late night, I make them my off day, but because I'm working late twice this week, I'm gonna do my workout this morning and uh, I'll, I'll use my rest days tomorrow um, on my second late night. So I'm just gonna get some coffee in and uh, head over and pump some iron, baby. What is up, YouTube fam? Just on the way to work, I am preparing myself for the 10,000 calorie challenge this weekend. I put up a poll on my Instagram asking, is that something you guys want to see? If you're not following me on Instagram, it is at Sean underscore Lunny, so go follow me now, what are you doing? Um, let's connect on there. And, you know, of all my followers who viewed this story and voted, I didn't get one person, it was 100% yes, do it. So for those of you who don't know, and I'll go a little bit more in depth on the video on Saturday when I do it. I used to be very overweight, and I'm talking like 300 pounds, almost 300 pounds, 298. That was my highest I had ever been. And I struggled with weight my whole entire life until I was probably about 20, 21. And then I really started to make a change and started to fluctuate once I got to college. Um, I had fluctuated my whole life, but in college is when I really started to go up and down on a, on a grander scale. Um, and eventually, I got down to a healthy weight. Um, right now, I currently weigh 1, 90 and it took some time and I'm actually it's funny because now I'm bulky I'm trying to put muscle back on and put some weight back on um, hence why I'm doing this challenge because I am bulking so I don't really care about the calories right now um, you know that caloric surplus uh, but yeah it's gonna be fun I'm excited to try it um, I've tried it one other time and I tried to do 10,000 in one sitting which was a terrible idea I know competitive eaters can do that, but it's not something I was able to do. Um, so I have a whole day to do it. No liquid calories. Um, I'm excited. I will catch up with you guys after work. How you guys doing? Just on my lunch break right now. It's been kind of a weird day. I woke up feeling good and as soon as I got to my my nine to five, I started feeling really negative. I had a bad attitude. I was just being a shit, for lack, lack of a better word. And I'm really, I'm really like on a roller coaster ride lately with my emotions. And I think switching up my diet and my sleeping my sleeping pattern has been the main cause of that. So I'm gonna try to get it back on track. I've, I'm generally a very positive, uplifting person. And I can tell that my attitude's been piss poor. And other people have noticed and they've just brought it to my attention. Not anything directly saying, hey, you're being a shit bum, but just saying, hey, you okay? You, you, need, you need to get something off your chest. You know, like I had someone from work literally offer their ear to me, who is typically an introvert. You know, we talk every once in a while, but he's not really an extrovert. We say hi, we say how you doing, that kind of thing, but never like open up about feelings. But, you know, that was really endearing of him to just, you know, offer me his ear and say if I ever needed to talk or anything that, that I could, you know, talk to him. So if you're watching, thank you. I appreciate that. But yeah, it's been it's been tough guys. I've been there's been a lot of days lately where I just wanted to fucking say quit. Be like fuck, you know, fuck social media, fuck YouTube, fuck it all. 
and I don't know. Then, then, then I start to think, you know, remember why you started, why you're doing this, what you want to build, not only for yourself, but for your future, for your family, for everyone else. So that, that's what's keeping the drive alive. And I think a lot of it, and I posted this on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Go follow me now. I think I already said that today. It's down in the description. At Sean underscore Lunny. I'm a millennial. And millennials are used to having everything streamlined. Streamlined economy. Think about it. If the internet takes more than one second to load, we get all pissy. And I'm included in them. I'm like, damn, my computer's running slow. But remember when we had dial-up guys? Remember when computers did not exist? Yeah. Now my freaking nephew who's seven has a cell phone. It's crazy. But um yeah, I think of a lot I think a lot of my attitude is stemming from me just being impatient and I have to just keep reminding myself it's not going to happen overnight. I'm not going to be Grant Cardone overnight. I'm not going to have a real estate empire overnight. I'm not going to have 100,000 subscribers overnight. I'm not going to be rich overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day. That's cliche as fuck, but it's a cliche for a reason. Shit takes time. Just like the Roman Empire didn't fall in a day, it didn't rise in a day either. But in a world where overnight successes get glorified, that's all you hear about in the news. Oh, this man just won a billion dollars. Oh, this 13-year-old started a billion dollar business in 13 months. That's all you hear about. Because that's what gets glorified. Not often are the 10 year successes glorified in the media. Another cliche saying, you know, it took me 10 years to become an overnight success. And that's, that's the truth right there. That is the truth. So I'm plugging away, guys. But I want to be genuine and honest, especially on, on this space. And transparent. There's days where I want, just want to be like, fuck everything, dude. What the fuck? Fuck this shit. Let me just work this shitty job for 40 more years. Let me collect my social security and my freaking 401k at the end of it and just call it a day. I'll go on a vacation once a year. I'll clock in. I'll clock out. I'll live a mediocre life and we'll be cool. I'll start a family. I'll have a couple kids. Why not? Fuck that. I wasn't put here on this earth to be ordinary. And I know that in my heart. I know that in my heart. That I am here for a reason. I'm here to do something special. Something with my life. Something for mankind. And if it's just having one person see this video and becoming the next Bill Gates or becoming the next Elon Musk or whatever it is. Or if it's preventing someone from doing something stupid with their life, then it's worth it. Then I've then I've given back to my fellow man. I'm here for a legacy. I'm here for the long haul. I'm not here to be average. I didn't show up and do this and film this and start a business or multiple businesses just to be a fucking average mediocre Joe. Man, I'm firing myself up right now. Let's go. Uh, getting excited again. And it's crazy. I've said it before, but just being on this camera and just talking talking to you guys fires me up. It's giving me it's giving me life right now. Like I'm energized again. Oh, I love it. I love it, man. It's like an instant mood switch when I pick up this camera. And anyone who knows what their passion is or what they're passionate about knows that feeling, man. And it's crazy. So to summarize, guys, don't quit. Even on the days you want to say, fuck it all, don't quit. It's not going to happen overnight. So let's get it. Let's get it. Gonna end the 
vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. I will catch you in the next one. I'm just gonna edit, uh, get some food. I already went to the gym, um, and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Thanks again.